morning prayer for Tuesday during the Epiphany season using the liturgy from St James's Church Piccadilly morning prayer. Epiphany embraces the nations of the world kneeling on a bare floor before a child. Epiphany shows a man kneeling in the waters of baptism. Epiphany reveals the best is kept for last as water becomes wine at the wedding feast. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Grant that this day and every day we may keep our shock of wonder at each new beauty that comes upon us as we walk down the paths of life and that we may say in our hearts when horror and ugliness intervene, Thy will be done. Amen. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will be open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your splendour. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18 to the end. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not, to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, in order that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So in the silence, let's contemplate these things. beckoning God, stir us with a holy discontent over a world which gives its gifts to those who have plenty already, whose talents are obvious, whose power is recognised, and help us both to share our resources with those who have little and to receive with humility the gifts they bring to us. Rise within us like a star, and make us restless till we journey forth to seek our rest in you. Amen. And so we will pray for this beautiful yet broken world. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. For compassion and wisdom in our nation. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. For kindness and unity in this Stroud area. Your kingdom come, your will be done. For healing and wholeness in our lives, in our families, for our friends. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Amen. Heavenly Father, at the Jordan you revealed Jesus as your Son. May we recognise him as your Lord and know ourselves to be your beloved children. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the star we follow be the steady radiance of God's mystery, which we discern only in part, but can forever trust. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.